First Love, Chapter 2 Both mother and son were engrossed in looking at the flowers while Yasham got up and went inside as he had to get the file from the study. Samina Begum had also returned from the village at night. Now she was sitting in the lounge with Ferris on her lap while Abhiha was also sitting with her. Of course she was his mother and mother-in-law. But they always gave him motherly love. Abhiha also loved him very much. Has anyone said anything to Dado's flower? Samina Begum kissed Ferris on her cheek and looked at her sad face and spoke with love. Abiha also looked at Ferris from noon till now he had spent all the time with Ferris. Because Yasham again went to the office due to some urgent work. Mayday. Mama. Shat Shona. Oh. When she innocently told her worries with tears in her eyes, Abhiha got up in agony. That is, she was right that Ferris wanted to sleep with her. But Yasham said that he also feels very comfortable with nausea. So what's the point of crying in this, my dear? You should go to sleep with Mama. Abhiha chewed her lips in tension as she spoke gently, wiping her tears. On one side was the husband and on the other side was the son. Both were stubborn and in the middle she was left in a daze. Yes, Ham did not say. But it was a command that Ferris would not sleep with them at night. Even if Abhiha stayed with him during the day. Every time a Dasra Yasham returned from office, he wanted Abhiha in front of him. He said that when he sees B, all his tiredness disappears. At first, when Abhiha started dating Ferris with Samina Begum, he used to tease him a lot. Neither would he sleep all night himself, nor would he let Samina Begum sleep. Then, fed up, they called nausea from the village. She was an 18-year-old virgin who was BG's youngest daughter. They thought that if they stayed with Fars, Fars would take a liking to him and not bother them. But what happened on the contrary was that Ferris used to spend the whole day laughing happily with nausea. But at night he started crying. On the one hand Abhiha was worried on his behalf and on the other. She was also embarrassed. What will everyone think that these husband and wife have strange activities? The sun is crying outside and he is sleeping inside. She knew that Yasham loved Ferris a lot, but he was a little too sensitive for her. She was very young when Mir Yasham Effendi started taking care of her and she did not know when they both grew up. Therefore, the distance between Jasham and the bridge was also tolerated. It was not enough for him to go out of the country every other weekend. Yasham was always worried about B.A.'s small injury, as if she didn't know what had happened to her. I talked to Yasham, let him sleep with you until Ferris gets better. Look at the condition of the child, he doesn't care at all. Samina Begum, seeing the yolks melting in the red color of Ferris. Try and find out, take your word for it. When she spoke in a tired tone, Samina Begum put her hand on her cheek. Go and rest for a while. You must be tired of following them all day. When she spoke with love, she smiled faintly. 
You also leave the village for so many days. I miss you so much. When she complained, they looked at her. Yes, baby, Najma was calling for a long time, that's why I had to go. I also missed you three a lot. B also closed her eyes when he said holding her to her chest. Samina Begum was now talking to Ferris when Yasham entered the lounge. Seeing this, B immediately got up and came to her and as usual Yasham handed her the coat hanging on her shoulder which she placed on the sofa and went to the kitchen. Assalam wa alaikum mama, you have come. He kissed Samina Begum's forehead and sat with her on the seat left by B. Yes, Saram had something to do here, so I came with him. She also wraps his hair from his forehead and speaks lovingly. Yes, better. Did his fever come down? He said pointing to Ferris lying on his lap who was watching cartoons on BEA's mobile. Then Bia brought water for him, Yasham took a glass from it and put it to his lips. Then the empty glass was given to her and she placed it on the table and sat on the sofa in front of her. Where did his fever come from? You don't even care about my son. Even today, he was crying and telling me that he should sleep with his mother. So it is my decision that he will be with his wife for a few days. We'll sleep and you will not protest. When he spoke seriously, Yasham saw his wife sitting in front of him, who had lowered her eyes. Hmm. And something else. He rested his head on the back of the sofa and closed his eyes while keeping both hands on his tie. There is nothing else left. I will tell Habiba to prepare food. Come fresh. They spoke and he got up shaking his head and went upstairs, then Kushi, who was suppressing her happiness, ran away and hugged him. Thank you so much, Mama. I couldn't do it in so many days, you did it in a moment. When she said smiling, Samina Begum smiled. After all, she was also a mother and she wanted her child to sleep next to her. Samina Begum knew that no matter how much nausea Ferris cared for Abiha, she was still comforted. She was aware that Yasham would be a little angry right now, but would get better on her own in a few days. Well, now go chill with him like he did. He looked angry. When she told him to move away from her, she kissed Ferris's forehead and backed away. If their anger had been cooled by me, they would not have come to you for everything till today. She frowned because the thing she feared the most in the world was Jasham's anger. In anger, he seemed to forget everything. He did not even remember that B was now used to his love and tenderness and would not be able to bear his scolding. All right, I'll go to them, you can get food. She used to say that if she went up, she would go back. Samina Begum gave voice to Habiba. When she came to the room, there was the sound of water falling from the washroom. Meaning that he was taking a bath. B was also relaxed and started to spread out in the room. When suddenly there was a sound of the washroom door opening. Come on take off my clothes. At Yasham's voice. She immediately turned around and the door of the washroom was closed. She slowly came to the cupboard. She took out a white shirt and black trousers and came to the washroom. Take this. He knocked on the door and it opened in a few seconds. Abhiha held out the clothes, but... Yasham held her. Wrist tightly instead of the clothes. Just then she realized something that... Yasham dragged her into... The washroom and locked the door. She took a deep breath now to calm herself. Wanted. Her eyes were completely closed. But even with her eyes closed, she was ashamed to think of the jade necklace. She knew that Yasham was very bold, but she did not know that much. Jasham blew a blow on his red face and then rested both arms on the wall at his sides. Open your eyes. He said sternly looking at her red tomato face. While his heart started ringing in his ears. None. Not first. You get dressed. 
She nervously put her hands over her eyes and said, he smiled slowly even in anger. That is, she was thinking that she was not wearing anything even. Though she was wearing a towel. Come on, I want you to look at me like this. So open your eyes. When he spoke with a hard tone, Bia was shocked. Please. Yes. You put on your clothes. You don't want to see me like that. She was about to cry now. Yasham also enjoyed teasing him now, he smiled softly. And the hand that was placed over her eyes immediately captured her delicate lips. B who was already out of breath gasped at his movement. She was now protesting vigorously with both his hands. When he gently pulled away after tormenting her for a long time. So his lips were red. While the eyes were still closed. If you don't want me, I'm all here. If I come down to fulfill my wishes, open your eyes. When he spoke in a threatening tone, Bea's eyelids began to tremble. He slowly opened his eyes. But fixed his gaze directly on her face. Because he didn't have the courage to look down. Jashem held her hands and placed them. On her shoulders and her hands started shaking. The drops of water on her shoulders began to touch Bea's palm. Let me go. She said trembling. Then suddenly Yasham, without thinking anything, picked her up in his arms and came out. Laying her down on the bed, he leaned over her and her eyes went to her towel. Of course, that was not enough, but it was better not to be there. You don't seem too rude to me. He lowered his eyes as he spoke with feigned seriousness. I don't understand. You are rude. She said angrily. Ulta thief reprimands Kotwal. He scoffed and be glared at him. I'm not a thief. But you stole my heart. Don't bother me. When she spoke to Sharma, Yasham looked at her who was still blushing with shame. Get me dressed. When he spoke mischievously, she hid her shy face in her hands. Give charity to these innocent people. He smiled at her action and moved towards the dressing room saying love. Naeem Effendi had two sons. Mir Zawar Effendi and then Mir Sadiq Effendi. Both grew up and took over their father's business. Which was very advanced before. He had two or three companies of his own and a car showroom. When Mir Zawar was older. He was married earlier and his wife. Samina Begum proved to be a very gentle and wise woman. A year after their marriage, they had a son who was named Mir Yasham Effendi. He was very intelligent from childhood. He had the courage and passion to achieve anything in his eyes. He was six years old when his uncle thought of marriage. But he was married to Samina Begum's younger sister Rida by his father's will. She is also a very good daughter-in-law like her sister. The wife proved. Two years after their marriage. Allah blessed them with his mercy in the form of a biha. But Naeem Effendi was not destined to see her granddaughter. Maybe that's why she died a few months before her birth. His wife had died long ago. After his death, the two brothers managed everything very harmoniously. There was never any argument between the two of them. Because Allah had given them. So much that they had no. Reason to fight with each other. Abiha was very young when her parents and grandfather died. The three were going from the city to the village. Because the parents of Abiha's maternal. Uncle and aunt lived in the village. Samina Begum stayed at home because of the children. But on their return, they met with an accident and all three died on the spot. Abhiha was only 12 years old at that time. While Yasham was a mature boy of 20 years. After his death, Yasham took care of everything from the same age as he. Be an older man. Yasham was in love with Abhiha since childhood and the whole family knew about it. 
he had never allowed Abhiha to call himself brother. Although she was much younger than him, still Yasham was pressured to call her by name. All the elders were shocked to see the passion in his eyes because there was a big difference in their ages.